once sun sets, it's a whole different animal out here. He's stealing a sin. As a matter of fact, when Christ was crucified, on his right hand there was a guy that was a, that was a thief, and he, he, told, he repented on that cross, and Christ forgave him his sin. Did you hear that everything's free? <laughs> It was supposed to make us safer, but a growing number of people believe it's doing the exact opposite. Garbage bag wielding shoplifter rides a bicycle right out the front door. I've actually been coming back and forth to San Francisco for three years now. I've seen a drastic change. Prop 47 is all about the number 950, 950, 950 in the application of robbing someone. Keep it under 950 and you're good. You'll dodge the felony. 950 for fraud, 950 for robbing the CVS, 950 for taking the guy's Cadillac converter who tried to stop those guys in LA then got shot. We have three cars here got stolen. All three cars. This proposition has not got the city a good rap. It's like a zombie town, you know, there's so many homeless. It's really created a very laissez-faire attitude when it comes to transactions for merchandise in the city, and that's not cool. The dude I was with, I was walking down the street. Every five fucking minutes, he would stop, go up on a porch, grab himself some packages and shit, and walk away. I'm like, all right, that's a little devious. So Proposition 47 has spawned a new demon, a new legend. He's been born from the heat of a Nova star. His name is 950. I charge people like $50 to go into like any any store they want and I'll steal up to like $950 just so I don't get caught. You hear whisperings in the alleys in the streets, is that did you hear that everything's free? You guys might might wonder like what's 950's day in the life look like? I'm 950 and this is how I let off a little steam before I hit the street. <laughs> Next, he's going for something a little more real. He's getting into the, he's getting into things. He hits the CVS. Yo, are those diapers? I can steal those for you next time. Oh, oh I think he might be calling the cops. Is he calling the cops? We got a tattletale. Are you a fan of like Cottonelle or Charmin? Cottonelle? I can steal some Cottonelle for you if you prefer. He's looking for tips, tricks, dips, but also general trade practice. Cutting the price and upping the customers will always have a, a positive benefit. I, I actually steal dogs for people, so if you want me to steal any, like a dog, if you, if you, if you. Oh no, no, not your dog. I wouldn't, <laughs> I wouldn't steal your dog. Part of me wants to charge more than fifty, just so I can keep making money to keep like, you know, feeding myself. But that runs into the issue of no one wants to pay like over fifty dollars or seventy-five dollars for like toilet paper or like tampons and stuff like that. So you're thinking like I should like cut it a little bit, twenty-five, twenty-five dollars? You can try. I promise I'm not gonna go in here though. I, I'm not gonna do it. Even if I did, you wouldn't tell me. Like you wouldn't be joking. Okay, okay. Well, you wouldn't tell me, but there's cameras. Okay. Might have a quick altercation with the cops. It's okay. They can never arrest them because of the laws. So he's good. He's good. We're just having a laugh. But we're having the issue because of Proposition 47. Is the oh. actual system itself holding them accountable and putting them in jail? So why is it so lawyers? prevalent in the city then? Is it just the fact that the if amount of people I'm doing it? Honest with you, when people coming up and making all these TikToks and things like that, they want to be TikTok famous or they want to be uh -oh. famous. So they're coming up with their own versions of what they think. Apparently, all these TikTokers running around for viral clout, making investigative journalistic reports, are the reason for all the violent crime and robberies in San Francisco. And I think that's bullshit. It's up to the citizens, cops, and the security at the stores do not give a fuck if they if you get stolen from or the stores get robbed. They're th just there for looks, basically. He also walks past an Emeryville police car before getting into a Hyundai Elantra. I stole some fucking, uh, some candy because I was hungry as shit, yeah. right? Like 20 minutes ago. Oh, and oh shit. I think it's a good uh, punishment for people who steal. Put some good street justice. Should the people who are stealing not out of necessity be punished? They should be required to uh, hang out in long and boring sessions. Hey, okay, like what's the ideal punishment for stealing? Maybe like we just bring back some like public embarrassment shit. Ooh. What's the thing? Like a, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, like yeah. maybe we could do that. I gotta be real, man. I mean, a mom and pop place, just stay away, man. These people are working hard to make it, and Robert's Hire Rare, look right over there. Camera fan this way, if you would. This place here, all these kind of small businesses, they aren't small. Okay, whatever, but they are small. So if you're walking out on the street and you're wearing a drip, under 950. People are looking at you and they're just like, damn, I could lick that guy's whole fit and only catch a meaner. If you're not a married head to toe, you're probably gonna get jacked. 
for your drip in San Francisco. Drip check. Pause. Hold up. How much is the fit? All right. The Amiri. Let's, how much is the Amiri? Let's go through top uh, to bottom. Do you want one? I have here. Oh shit. How uh, much? Huh? How much? 55 bucks, man. How much was the shirt? This shirt? Yeah, we'll go ahead and tell. 20, 20 bucks plus the pants. How much the pants? 60. 60 plus the shoes. <laughs> Uh, 60. Hat and earrings and glasses. A hat was 10 bucks, glasses probably 10 bucks. You're theoretically robbable right now, which is un an unfortunate situation that you've been put in. So from here on out, boys, I need you to find your parents' most expensive outfits and put them on so you can walk around with a little bit of an insurance policy for you. How much is the Eddie Bauer? I don't know, 30. What about, about the shorts? Shorts? Probably like 15. What about the dog? How much is the dog? Ooh, like three, four bands. Okay, okay, that's okay, perfect. Not only are we talking about drip, we're talking about our furry friends, our little dogs. You, you gotta get yourself an expensive dog. It's true. Yeah, it's true. It's None true. of that rescue bullshit. It's gotta be like an exclusive, beautiful Pomeranian. One of those like expensive, like 50 grand Japanese dogs. Go hide the top, how much? Uh, 40, 40, 450. I'm not here to cause any harm. Are you speak any English? Are you English speaking? How much was your jacket? Oh, I don't know. The glasses? How much are they? 500? What about the shirt? This shirt is like, I don't know, 30. 30, 500, and then 50. What would you say? What, was the, what about the. Uh... We're getting close. Okay, well, she's in the clear, boys. Ding, 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 ding. She's in the clear. Let's keep going now. How much is that one? Oh, earrings too. You touch her, you're catching a felony. After that, he'll just bring it down to the local spot, you know? 24th and Mission, babe. 24th and Mission. On any given day, this plaza at 24th Street and Mission in San Francisco can look like an outdoor convenience store, clearly trafficking in stolen goods. How much are the pants? The 34, 32s? 950 nine, needs some he had a six pack of Logan Paul Primes. What are they? Limited editions, too. Strawberry lemon? Yeah, limited edition strawberry lemon primes and a 12 pack of paper towel. And I mean, he moved it quick. How much did he move it for? It was like six, seven bucks. He lost. He lost money on it. No, he didn't. No, he didn't. Because he stole it. So he made a clean seven, seven to eight bucks. He's stealing a sin. $950. You can still repay. None of us is the same. We are made from flesh and we are made from the dust. And from dust we will return. But your soul will answer to God. What do you do where you are here on earth? That is what matters. Quanto? How much you want for it? Uh, I was trying to get like 10, but someone said five. How much you want? 